I wake up in the morning and I don't want to go to school. Other kids like school, or at least don't mind it much, but I never want to go to school. At school you're supposed to have lots of friends, but I'm shy about making friends. She doesn't want to go in the gate. <clears throat> at school you run and jump and climb, but I'm not good at that. At school you learn to do things, but I worry I'll get it wrong. Sometimes our teacher tells us something and I just don't know what she means. I'm not chatty or fast or funny. I'm not bossy or loud or wild. Sometimes I think that even though I try my best, everyone is better than me. At lunch, I sit where mum would see me if she drove by in the car. Take me home, I'd tell her. Sure, she'd say, jump in. But that has never happened. Mum has never driven by. Some mornings I ask, Mum, can I stay home? You need to go to school, she says. You're not sick, so off you go. I wouldn't care if I was sick, if it meant I could stay home. I'd lie in bed all day with my cat Piccolo. Everything would be peaceful, but I'm never sick. So I make the best of it. The tuck shop smells like donuts, which is very nice. I have art once a week and I love doing art. When I draw pictures, everyone gathers around me. Sometimes I know an answer and I put up my hand. My heart thumps hard and I feel glowing and bright. But mostly I keep my hand down just in case I'm wrong. When other kids get an answer wrong, they don't seem too bothered. If they have a problem, they ask our teacher for help. I wish I was brave like that. I couldn't do my homework. Don't make me go to school, Mum, tomorrow, I said. Mum smiles. You want to stay home every day. I wish I could, I said. If it was just you and me and Piccolo, it wouldn't matter that I can't run fast or make people laugh. Why do you need to run fast? Mum asked. Other kids can, I said. Why do you want to make people laugh? Everyone likes laughing, I said. Mum was making our favourite macaroni and cheese. She said, being different isn't easy until you decide it's a good thing to be. Is that what I am? I asked. Just different? Just different, said Mum. Just something as wonderful as that. Wonderful, I scoffed. I'm not wonderful. Who says so? asked Mum. I felt even more like crying then. I closed my books and went outside. Piccolo was there, looking at clouds. Mum says I'm different, I told him. Piccolo said, ack, 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 which means he wants a bird. The birds were red and purple and some were plain brown. Don't catch a bird, I told him. They're allowed to be here. We watched the birds fly through the trees, all singing their own songs. Some trees were tall and skinny, and others were low and wide. Yellow flowers were everywhere, but blue ones were growing too. I lay down and stared at the sky and thought for a while. Not all clouds are white. I said, and Piccolo looked at me. Not all cats are tabby, 
some are black, some are orange, some are calico. I plucked a flower and showed it to him. This flower isn't yellow, but that's good, isn't it? No one wants everything to be the same. Things being different is what makes the world wonderful. I looked at the flower and thought about the times I told myself I was slow and silly and not wonderful at all. Remembering made my heart beat like the saddest drum. I felt I should say sorry, which was a strange thing to feel. So I whispered it to myself and then I said it out loud. After a while, Piccolo said, Ack, ack, ack. So I picked him up. We can't stay outside here forever, I told him. I had homework to finish and macaroni to eat and school again in the morning. Piccolo purred and rubbed his face on mine. They look happier now, don't they? I felt happy. I felt like me. I think she realised in the end that being different was okay. I hope you liked our story.